dogs my whole life, and one of the things that you do what kind realize, you have? I right now I have a golden retriever. Oh, uh, we have a we yeah we have a white lab yeah um, a yeah yellow lab, and uh, I've had a bunch of different dogs. Yeah. I've had mastiffs and pit bulls and German shepherds. No and, small. We have a dachshund too. You don't have small dogs. Uh, my oldest daughter has a tiny Chihuahua. It's a pain he's in awesome. the ass, aren't they? Oh, yeah. he's the best. They I just bark him. all the time. Though. No, he doesn't bark that much. He barks oh. a little bit, but he's he's really smart. Okay. He's actually a mutt. He's Chihuahua and Australian Shepherd, but he's like that big. He's tiny, <laughs> tiny little thing. He's the best. But um, uh, my point being is that you can see if you get a dog from a breeder, you really can see how they can cultivate certain types of behavior. Like a, yes. a good example of my Mastiff who passed away this year. He came from this guy who bred dogs for films and for uh, police training, and uh, he was the most calm, most chilled out dog I've ever had in my life. He was a, a giant dog. Yes. He's 140 pounds, but he you could have him take him anywhere and trust him with a baby, and he was like, hello. <laughs> like, everything was like totally, He, but this guy purposely, anytime a dog showed any aggression towards people or any aggression towards dogs, he wouldn't let them breed. So how can anyone not know, hear the stories like that or know stories like that and not then also think that genes play a role in human behavior? Oh, they, you have children? Yes. You realize it. Yes. When you have children, you yes. see it like, okay, this is not, I didn't do this. Yeah. This is this comes from me. Yes. There's certain traits that my children have that right. I, I watch and I go, okay, this is not... This I is, didn't teach them yeah, this. They just are they this just, way. They were born this they've way. They've got my fucked up brain. You know, there's something <laughs> in there. Like they're not seeing the, the like. They don't see how crazy I am in terms of like how hard I work at things. Mm -hmm. They how obsessive I get with things. They're just doing it. Mm -hmm. It's very weird. Mm -hmm. It's very weird because you see you go. Oh well, okay. Well, how much of this shit that's in me is mm. well? How much of me is me deciding to be this person, and how much of me has no choice? About half and half, I would say mm. overall, on average across traits. How much do you think gets passed down through genetics in terms of inclinations, like like the nature dispositions? Yes, about half, half. on average. So, for example. About half the very, you know, how religious you are or how risk averse you are. Like, I can, I can, about half the variation in how, if you look at a group of people and some are more risk averse than others, about, about half of that has to do with their genes and half has to do with how they were raised or what environments they grew up in. So, you know, there's a kind of innateness to many of our qualities and you can shape them. You know, for example, you can't, you couldn't make me a musician, unfortunately. I have almost no musical talent. I can dance, I think. I mean, I think others would even say that I can do that. Uh, but um, so it's not just like, I think I can dance, but I can't. Uh, but I, I have no musical ability whatsoever. I, I would say I'm tone deaf and, and you know, I can appreciate music. I like, I, mm. uh, but I can't produce it. There's no way you could train me, I don't think, to be a musician. Um but um, so some of it is inborn, and some of it is is uh, is taught for all of these qualities. Yes, it's a fascinating thing to watch it emerge from a child, isn't it? Yes, as a parent, you see where it comes from. Although we have adopted, like I, um, my mother had three biological children, and I have two adopted siblings. I come from actually a multiracial family. I have a black sister and a Chinese brother. And my mother was an incredible human being. She died when I was uh, 25. She was 47. Uh, and uh, we have been foster parents, my wife and I. And, and so, and my, we have lots of adopted kids in the extended family in addition to biological kids. And so you can see, you can see the play of genes. You can see the extent to which the, the, the kind of in, the, in, the inherited traits that these people, that we all have, and you see the shaping by how you're raised. And, mm. you know, so both are important. And this yeah. is incidentally why, if you ever have anyone, on, it's not it's not nature or nurture, it's both. Yeah. Always. Almost right. in every single trait, actually. Well, that's so. the case with so many things in this life. We want everything to be binary. Yes. It's, it's nuts. Yeah. It's a total, we were talking earlier, it's a total loss of nuance and an inability to see any gray. And, and, and some people think, and I think that's what you were talking about. Yes. Some people think that we are hardwired to like dichotomies, to see, you know, male and female and, and up and down mm -hmm. and good and evil and yeah. left and right and to simplify the world by finding out and that we like it, that it's soothing to us to think that the world can be divided into two categories. Yes. But in fact, many times, not always, like up and down is sort of clear, <laughs> right. uh, but many times it can't. There's shades of gray, and it's harder. That's harder to live in the gray, 
actually. Yes, I completely agree. And that's why I've always been opposed. I mean, I, get, I think it's incredibly foolish to deny that, but people find comfort in denying yes. that. They find comfort in being tribal. Yes. They find comfort- Us and them. Yeah, us versus them yes. is, the, is the classic, right? Yes, yes. Yes, it's it's a it's a simplified view of the world, and it's it's foolish and dangerous, actually. Yeah. Um, now, sometimes you're at war with an enemy. You know, it's me or him, and uh, or us or them. There are circumstances in which it's a different for survival. Yes, yeah, or survival in that, in that mode. Yes, yeah, I get it. But um, but you know, but I think the a kind of worldview which says we are good, they are evil. Um, as we've been saying in different kind of ways in different parts of our conversation, is I think foolish and wrong and ultimately self-injurious, actually. Yeah. Um, so 